let's move to the next question question number 116 what is uh, true about bod the biochemical oxygen demand bod is directly proportional to the polluting potential it is true why because more is the organic matter present in the water and more is the polluting potential so this is true the BOD test measures the rate of uptake of oxygen by microorganisms. This is also true. What is BOD? BOD is the rate of uptake of oxygen or the amount of oxygen taken by the microorganisms or the bacteria to reduce the organic matter which is present in the water or the sewage. C. BOD is the indirect measure of inorganic matter present in the water. No. BOD is the indirect measure of organic matter present in the water. It is not the inorganic. So this is incorrect. So correct are A and B only. So the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 117. In India, the technology of biogas production was mainly developed by the efforts of so, biogas production was mainly developed by the efforts of IARI and KVIC in India. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 4. Let's move to the next question. Question number 118. Which of the following is not a biofertilizer? Oscillatoria, rhizobium, oleocera, they all are important biofertilizers. They are organisms which can be used as fertilizers. And that's why they are biofertilizers. Propioni bacterium, it's a bacterium which is used to ripen the Swiss cheese. So large holes in the Swiss cheese is due to this bacterium. This is not a biofertilizer. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. The organisms which are restricted to a narrow range of salinities are called as I just discussed that where you find the term yuri they are a wide range of tolerance where you find the term steno they have narrow range of tolerance so yuri haline no steno means narrow haline means salt or the salinity so organisms which are restricted to narrow range of salinities are called steno haline hypersaline no hyposaline no so the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question. Question number 120. It is very straight in the memory based question that the salt concentration of the salinity of seawater may be in parts per thousand PPT. It is 30 to 35. So the correct option for the given question is option number two.